Good morning. Um, one of the hardest things <clears throat> to teach and to learn is how to start. How to start a sentence, an essay, a story, a master's thesis, a graduate dissertation. I mean, it's all about how to start. Banana camp. You know, you want me to write about cheese, and I don't know how to start. So let me help you with that. I know why they don't put flat screen TVs on the ceiling. It's because they could fall on your face. So let's say the topic is cheese. When I was building my desk at this particular window, I failed to remember that the sun rises right in my face. Could I please have some cereal? Hi, George. You're, you're at your desk and you have writer's block. You have no idea how to start. How about some soup? Hi, George. The answer is to talk. No matter what you're writing, talk first. How about some jello? How do I begin to talk about cheese? Spaghetti? Have your students talk to you, talk to somebody else, even talk to themselves. It doesn't matter. A bowl of fruit? recommend you never force them to do something they're uncomfortable with because it creates such an anxiety in your classroom. George, what are you doing? Students don't learn when they're anxious. They only learn how to recite what you want to hear. These are caramels. Caramels. The, the whole process is the written word is writing the words that you speak, that you think. I don't know the first thing about cheese. Now anything you write can be rewritten, edited, changed, whatever. You're just trying to get what you're saying out of your mouth onto paper. Whoa, whoa, horsey, whoa, whoa, hey. And eventually you can rearrange it, you can make, improve on it, okay? It's just starting. That's all this is, is starting. So you write down, I don't know the first thing about cheese, okay? The next thought that I have is, you know, I don't know the first thing about cheese. Some are yellow, some are orange, some are blue and fuzzy. There's your next sentence. Okay, if your teacher only wants you to write a five sentence paragraph, you've already written two. She didn't say 
write something specifically about cheese, like cheddar or a memory you have, which is also a very good way to connect with the topic, but that's a different lesson. And then you continue. You got three more sentences. Well, let's say this is the Let's say this is the intro paragraph of an essay. And so you've already written the first two sentences of your intro paragraph. You've touched on their color. How about some taste sweet? Some taste like pizza, and some taste like something you pulled out of the garbage bin. Okay, and I won't write that down because I'm just talking. And then your fourth sentence, I suppose if I had to choose, I would pick mozzarella cheese as my favorite. And then your final sentence is your thesis statement in your intro paragraph. So your, set, your thesis statement needs to tell the reader what you're writing about. But you don't say, I'm going to be writing about blah de blah <laughs> So the final sentence would be, mozzarella cheese brings back some amazing rest memories of when I was younger and my grandmother made pizza. And that's what you're really going to be writing about in your essay. We're not going to go there. That's way too much talking <laughs> writing, honestly. So anyway, that's your lesson for today. How to start writing a sentence, a paragraph, an essay, a thesis, a dissertation. Start talking, then you write what you say. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.
I don't really know a man. I just feel like teaching here. I used to be a cashier. I'm a hallway teacher, yeah, yeah, yeah.